And we are less than a month away from the midterm elections, and in an effort to keep you informed, we've offered one-on-one -on -one interviews with every candidate running for statewide office. Today we are highlighting the candidates running for Texas Land Commissioner. And the office manages public land, but is also responsible for preserving wildlife, giving out natural disaster relief funding, and overseeing the Alamo and funding public education. Our Monica Madden talked to the Republican and the Democrat running. It's not very often you find campaign signs for the Texas Land Commissioner. I'm ready to get to work. Democrat Jay Clayberg thinks he's on to something. Educating as many people across the state about the importance of this office. The conservationist says his top priority is doling out relief funds the greater Houston community still hasn't received after Hurricane Harvey. City of Houston has yet to receive a dime in um, mitigation funding. If we can get this right, then we will be prepared for the next 500 year storm. Clayburg's Republican challenger, State Senator Don Buckingham, is also prioritizing rebuilding and investing in Texas's coastal infrastructure. There's going on that's keeping people from getting the resources they need that we're doing our best to get them to them as fast as we can. The land commissioner oversees Texas's permanent school fund, oil and gas lease money from public land that provides a large chunk of funding for Texas public schools. Both Clayburg and Buckingham say they'll prioritize expanding that fund, but differ a bit on how to do that. And there are opportunities uh, to push and lean into uh, innovation and technology like large scale carbon storage. And that's not only good for uh, the environment, it's good for our public schools. And we'll see what forms of energy fit in and where, but but my priority is the constitutional duty of this office to help fund education. Clayberg has out fundraised Buckingham. He raised 860,000 to her 600,000 in the last reporting period. Monica Madden, KXAN News. The current land commissioner, George P. Bush, is not seeking re-election. He ran for the Republican nominee for attorney general and lost in the primaries to incumbent Ken Paxton. And there's also a libertarian candidate on the ticket for land commissioner, but we could not find any campaign website or contacts for him. It is worth mentioning as well, no Texas Democrat has won statewide office since 1994.